tense. The verb may indicate that first an action is done at present time. Example, he goes to school. Second, an action was done in the past time. Example, he went to school. Third, an action will be done in the future time. Example, he will go to school. Fourth, an action is done under some condition. Example, he would go to school if he were not well. The tense of a verb shows a the time of an event or action and b the state of an action referred to. Kinds of tense. There are three kinds of tense. First, present tense. Second, past tense. Third, future tense. Present tense. Present tense is used for denoting an action that happens now. Present tense. Indefinite, continuous, progressive, perfect, perfect continuous. Simple present, indefinite tense. The simple present tense is used for indicating an action in the present. First, affirmative sentences. Subject plus first form of verb plus S or ES if required plus object. Second, negative sentence. Subject plus do or does not plus first form of verb plus object. Third, interrogative sentence. Do or does plus subject plus first form of verb plus object question mark. Uses of simple present indefinite tense. It is used first to express general truth. Example, the earth moves around the sun. Second, to show a habitual action. Example, my father reads the newspaper daily. Third, to express fixed arrangements, present or future. Example, our school starts at 8 o'clock. Fourth, for proverbs and sayings. Example, a stitch in time saves nine. Fifth, for characteristics. Example, the river plays a very important role in our life. Present continuous tense. The present continuous tense is used for denoting a continuing action in the present. First, affirmative sentence. Subject plus is or am or are plus verb plus ing plus object. Second, negative sentence. Subject plus is or am or are plus not plus verb plus ing plus object. Third, Interrogative sentence is or am or are plus subject plus verb plus ing plus object question mark. Uses of present continuous tense. It is used first for action happening now. Example, Garima is watering the plants. Second, for a definite future action or event. Example, they are going out of town tomorrow. Third, for an action which happens again and again. Example, it is always raining in London. Fourth, for a future plan. Example, my father is planning to buy a car for my brother. Present perfect tense. It tells us about an action that began in the past time and is still connected with the present in some way or the other. First, affirmative sentence. Subject plus has or have plus third form of verb plus object. Second, negative sentence. Subject plus has have, has or have plus not plus third form of verb plus object. Third, interrogative sentence. Has or have plus subject plus third form of verb plus object question mark. Uses of present perfect tense. It is used first for showing completed activities in the immediate past. Example, he has just completed his project. Second, for conveying information or use. Example, the Prime Minister has signed the deal with the United States of America. Present perfect continuous tense. It tells us about the action that started in the past and is continuing up to the present time. First, affirmative sentence. Subject plus has or have plus been 
plus verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Second, negative sentence subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Third, interrogative sentence has or have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time question mark uses of present perfect continuous tense it is used to denote an action that began in the past and is still continuing example it has been raining since morning use of for and since Time in perfect and perfect continuous tense can be mentioned in two ways. A. As a period, for example, an hour, a week, a long time, etc. with the use of for. Or B. As a point, for example, 9 o'clock, 3.40 p.m., 5th of June, 1960, etc. with the use of since. A time phrase with for or since indicates the continuance and completeness of the action. Past tense A verb that refers to the past time is said to be in the past tense.